Microsoft Excel 2010 Inputting Data As a general rule, it's best to capture all the data before any formatting or calculations are done. We won't need the tools on the ribbon, so we're going to minimize the ribbon. Click on the Minimize the Ribbon button. Select the cell where the data has to be input. Type in the data. Two extra buttons have appeared here. This data is incorrect. Click on Cancel so that we don't leave the cell. Type in the correct data. Click on Enter. Notice that we didn't leave the cell. Type in the data again. To move one cell down, press the Enter key. The data has been accepted and we've moved down one cell. Type in the month. To move one cell to the right, press the Tab key. Type in the year. Click on Accept or Enter. We've accepted the data. Numbers are aligned on the right side of a cell. But if a number is not going to be used in a calculation, it's better to input it as text. To input a number as text, first type an apostrophe and then type the number. Click on Accept. Notice that the number is now aligned on the left side of the cell. We want to move to a cell that's quite a distance away, so we just click on the cell. If data that's already been captured is incorrect, it can either be edited in the cell or it can be edited on the formula bar. To edit in the cell, move your mouse cursor to in front of where you want to be and double click. To move to the end of the text that's being edited, press the end key. To delete one character in front of the cursor, press the backspace key. Type in a G. Now we're going to edit the data in the formula bar. Click at the end of the data in the formula bar. Press the Home key. If we press the Delete key, we'll delete one character after the cursor. Press the Delete key. Type in a J for Johannesburg. Click on Accept. Press Enter to move one cell down. Start typing Cape Town. When the predicted text appears, press Enter or use one of the other ways of leaving the cell. If the formatting is different, we can always use the Format Painter later. We're going to leave this for the moment. Select cell A5, type in a 1, click on Accept. Use the dragging handle to drag and copy. All the copying here gives us the same number. We want order numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's undo that by pressing Ctrl and Z. Select the next cell and type in a 2. Click on Accept. Select both cells. Now use the dragging handle to drag down. There was a pattern with a 1 and a 2. It can be predicted that the numbers will be increasing by 1. Select the date. Drag to copy. We don't want the dates to increase because all these orders were on the same day. Use the drop down autofill menu and select copy cells. The actions just performed is known, are known as autofill.